Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on the Gemini Jets Qantas Airbus A380-800 in their current silver rule livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. I purchased this model from AirlineMuseum.com whose store is based out of Sherborne, Massachusetts which is a suburb of Springfield, Massachusetts here in the United States of America and their website address is www.airlinemuseum.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular model, allow me to share you some information about the history of Qantas, if you would, please. Qantas is an Australian-based airline that was founded on November 16, 1920 in Winton, Queensland, and commenced operations four months later in March 1921, and the airline's first aircraft was an Avro 504K. Qantas is currently the third oldest operating airline in the world based on foundation date after KLM, Royal Dutch Airlines, and Avianca respectively and still continues to operate under the same name today as it was when the airline was first formed on November 16, 1920 as Qantas recently celebrated their 100th anniversary on November 16, 2020. The name Qantas comes from Qantas, an acronym for its original name which stands for North Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Services. Qantas also has another nickname that the airline actually calls itself, the Flying Kangaroo. Qantas is the national flag carrier airline for the country of Australia and the country's largest airline based on fleet size, international flights, and international destinations served. Whereas the headquarters of Qantas is located at the Qantas Center which is located in the city of Botany Bay, Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Sydney Kingsford Smith Airport, which is located approximately five miles south of the city center district section of the, in the suburb of Muscat in Sydney, Australia. The airline also has operational hubs that's located at Brisbane Airport, located in Brisbane, Australia, and Melbourne Airport, located in Tula Marine, Melbourne, Australia. And the airline's secondary hubs are located at Adelaide Airport, located in Adelaide, South Australia, and Perth Airport, located in Perth, Western Australia. While the airline's focus city hubs are located at, for the time being, at Carnes International Airport, located in Carnes, Queensland, Australia, Darwin International Airport located in Darwin Northern Territory Australia and Singapore Changi Airport located in Singapore. Qantas currently flies to 20 domestic do destinations and 27 international destinations in 14 countries across six inhabited continents as Qantas is one of 10 airlines to own this actual distinction of permanently flying to all six inhabited continents along with Air Canada, Air China, British Airways, Delta Airlines, Korean Air, Qatar Airways, South African Airways, and United Airlines respectively with an operating fleet of 126 aircraft which includes 12 Airbus A380-800s with no unfulfilled orders pending on this particular aircraft type. However, these aircraft have been grounded until 2023 at the earliest. Also as of June 2021 or at the time of this video review posting, Qantas currently operates as a certified four-star airline carrier according to the international airline review firm Skytrax magazine. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box here where you see the Gemini 200 decal, the airline's logo, the Qantas title, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type, as well as the one 200 scale diecast aircraft model and item number information you see in front of the box. Now you're looking at the back of the box where you see the nice little Gemini Jets information including the official licensed product decal of Qantas, a Facebook social media page as well. You can pause and read that if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving. Now you're looking at the top of the box where you see the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal, the adult uh, collectible model as well as the warning information and also included the item number information on top of the box. Now you're looking at the bottom of the box where you see the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal as well as their website information. Now you're looking at the left side of the box where you see the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal, the 1200 scale diecast model information, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, 
the aircraft type, as well as the item number displayed on the left side of the box. Now you're looking at the right side of the box, the same information on the left side of the box I showed you earlier on. Now you're looking at this nice little metal model stand that actually came with the model and that black pattern on top of the model stand. The sole purpose of that black pattern is not only to protect your model, but also prevent it from being damaged or scratched when you put your model on this particular model stand. Now you're looking at this plastic bag, and what you see in this plastic bag are two little toothpicks, as well as the gear replacement doors for this particular model. Please stay tuned as I go into details later on for the sole purpose for these gear replacements for this particular model. Okay, with all that information out of the way about the history of Qantas and how they celebrate their 100th anniversary and still going strong, with all the details here on the front of the box, as well as the back of the box, which includes the... Uh, the model stand as well as the gear replacement you see in that plastic bag with no further ado everyone here is the actual model check it out there it is everyone the Gemini Jets Qantas Airbus A380-800 in their current silver root livery scheme now let me share you some information about this particular livery scheme that's on this particular aircraft okay on October 27 2016 Qantas unveiled their revised livery scheme and logo to the general public for the very first time at a ceremony that was held at the Qantas Jet Base facility, which is located on the grounds of Sydney Kingsford Smith Airport in Sydney, Australia. And the very first aircraft that was actually painted in this current livery scheme, which is actually called the Silver Rule Livery Scheme, was an Airbus A330-300 jetliner aircraft, which bared the registration ship number VH-OPJ where it was flown to a paint facility called SoCal Logistics, which is located in Victorville, California. As the entire livery scheme, including the logo, was redesigned and recreated by industrial designer Mark Newsom in partnership with the Australian design agency, the Houston Group, whose global headquarters is located in the Surrey Hills section of Sydney, Australia. As Qantas had its entire aircraft fleet painted in this particular livery scheme by the airline's centennial anniversary, which took place on November 16, 2020. So, with all that information out of the way about this nice looking livery scheme, let's get down to the nitty gritty and let me show you all the details on this aircraft model. Show we? Let's roll. Alright, we're going to start at the front of the aircraft here on the port side's left side, where you see the front uh, nose landing gears right here landing gear struts as well as the landing gears featuring the partial registration ship number on it qf see the pewter tubes and the static ports the nose cone there's some more pewter tubes right there as well as the windshield wipers in the cockpit windows i'm going to give you a better visual view of those later on in the review so stay tuned for that part but right underneath the cockpit window is the uh Qantas vintage kangaroo logo as you see underneath the cockpit windows and as part of its revised livery scheme makeover Qantas also brought back and reintroduced the iconic wing logo, kangaroo logo that is, which was the airline's third actual logo that was featured on the Qantas tails of their aircraft from 1968 to 1984, as this vintage logo continues to pay tribute by honoring the heritage of the carrier's rich history. Alright, and right underneath the, uh, the heritage kangaroo logo is the name of the aircraft. I hope you can see that right there. It's Charles Kingsford Smith. And if you know who uh, Charles Kingsford Smith is, I'm getting ready to tell you who he is right now. This aircraft was named in honor of Sir Charles Kingsford Smith, who was an Australian aviator who was born on February 9, 1897. Actually became the first aviator to fly the first Trans-Pacific flight from the United States to Australia in 1928. He also made the very first non-stop crossing of the Australian mainland the first aviator to fly the first flights between Australia and New Zealand, and the first to fly the eastward Pacific crossing from Australia to the United States, and also made the, a historic flight from Sydney, Australia to London, England, in which that particular flight took a record setting 10 and a half days to complete on March 31st, 1929. Unfortunately, Sir Charles Kingsford Smith, along with co-pilot John Thompson Pettibridge, were flying their aircraft the Lady Southern Cross from India to Singapore when it disappeared over the Andaman Sea as their plane crashed into the sea 
off the coast of Burma in the early morning hours of November 8, 1935, killing both Pethy Bridge and Kingsford Smith instantly, as the Australian aviator was only 38 years old at the time of his death. Whereas Sydney's major airport was officially renamed Sydney Kingsford Smith Airport shortly after his death on August 14, 1936, in honor of this pioneer Australian aviator. May he rest in peace. All right, and then you see the Qantas Title Fund you're looking at here. The Qantas Title Fund was also handcrafted and streamlined as part of its revised livery scheme makeover to a thinner type font as the colors was changed eventually from dark black to a lighter charcoal tone. See that right there? Now you're still looking at the center of the aircraft where you see the Spirit of Australia title font, which is this right here. And this, tip, partic this particular typeface title font has also been refined and simplified as well, as it complements the other aspects of the new identity that is displayed on this particular aircraft, okay? All right, we're back at the front of the aircraft. I got to add some more information. The One World logo that's displayed by the L1 right here, the L2, as well as the upper uh, deck doors right there. Qantas joined the One World Alliance along with American Airlines, British Airways, and Cathay Pacific as one of the four founding members on February 1st, 1999, which consists of 14 airline members from six inhabited continents, okay? All right, we're at the center of the aircraft with the lower part, and uh, before I get to the engines, I'm gonna explain the, uh, the nice little red kangaroo logo that's displayed on the engine columns, which is right here, as well as right there. This particular logo was recently added as part of its revised livery scheme makeover, as this logo can actually be seen on most of the engines that display on most Qantas aircraft, okay? It's on the other side, I'll show you that later. But then these nice massive engines you see here, there, these are the Rolls-Royce Trent 972-84 turbofan type engines that are used on this particular Qantas Airbus A380-800 jumbo jetliner aircraft. You also see the engine cones right there, which is very detailed and realistic, as uh, they're right there. Now I'm going to turn this aircraft model around, let you see the front of the engine and the turbofan blades do spin. Let's check it out. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the uh, port side of the aircraft featuring the engine strike slash air deflectors there and there and the turbo fan blade spin. Let's check it out. So far so good. Perfect. Awesome. And you see the inboard landing lights right there on the edge of the wings as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears here on the port side, the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the engines on the starboard side featuring the uh, engine strike slash air deflectors there there and the turbo fans play spin over here as well. Let's check that out. Perfect. Then you see the inboard landing light right there as well as the front visual view of these gears, the, the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft, we got a better visual view of the land, uh, the cockpit windows, sorry about that, the windshield wipers, the Peter 2's right uh, below the cockpit windows and above the nose cone, the actual nose cone, the nose gear doors, the landing gear lights inside of the nose gear doors, the landing gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the landing gears. All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft and what you're looking at is the wingtip device but beside that wingtip device, that's a red navigation light right there. But that wingtip device, this high-tech wingtip device is actually called a wingtip fence. And the sole purpose of this wingtip fence is to maximize and increase efficiency at the same time by reducing vortex interference with laminar airflow near the tips of the wings by moving the confluence of low pressure slash overwing and high pressure slash underwing air away from the surface of the wing of this particular aircraft. All right, that's a wingtip fence, okay? Now you got a better visual view of the landing bogey gears here on the side of the aircraft, including the center ones as well, the triple bogey gears, including the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. 
All right, we're still at the back of the aircraft here on the uh, port side where you see the Airbus A380 decal right there, right below the windows right there. Qantas became the third airline operator overall after launch customer Singapore Airlines and Emirates respectively that acquired the Airbus A380-800 jumbo jetliner aircraft as Qantas took delivery of its very first of 12 Airbus A380-800 jumbo jetliners that Qantas had placed orders for back on March 6, 2001 and received their very first Airbus A380-800 jumbo jetliner aircraft which bared the registration ship number BH-OQA on September 19, 2008 and acquired its 12th and final Airbus A380-800 jumbo jetliner aircraft which bared the registration ship number BH-OQL on December 15, 2011 and at the time of this video review posting all 12 of Qantas Airbus A380s are currently operating in service as this particular aircraft is scheduled to be phased out completely from the Qantas fleet starting in 2029. However, this aircraft is being grounded until 2023 or until further notice. All right, still at the back of the aircraft here on the port side and right by the registration ship number is the Australian flag decal, which you see that right there. And this particular flag decal represents the country where Qantas currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the country of Australia. And right by the Australian flag decal is the registration ship number, which is BH-OQF. Registration ship number BH-OQF. This particular aircraft is the sixth Qantas Airbus A380 jetliner aircraft that actually entered the carrier's fleet as well as the very first Qantas Airbus A380 jetliner aircraft that was actually painted in the airline's current livery scheme as you see displayed on this particular aircraft. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on March 30th, 2009 and was delivered to Qantas on January 7th, 2010. All right, back to the aircraft here. here. Um, looking at the uh, nice little silver rule cheat line right there, which is I uh, find impressive. But more important to see the Qantas logo that's played on the tail fin of the aircraft you see there. And this is the revised logo for Qantas, which resembles that of a kangaroo, which was introduced in 1944 and was remodified again sometime in 2016 as part of its revised livery scheme makeover. As this updated logo was conceived and recreated by industrial designer Mark Newsom in partnership with Australian design agency, the Houston Group, whose global headquarters is located in the Surrey Hills section of Sydney, Australia. Now you're looking at the rear of the aircraft, and what you see is the uh, APU auxiliary power unit exhaust hole, and there is a hole right there, as well as the strobe light display there, there by the APU exhaust hole, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is. Awesome. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the front nose gears, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on the nose gear door, the Peter 2s and the static ports, the nose cone, the uh, Peter 2s there, the windshield wipers, the cockpit window, the, uh, the, uh, the kangaroo logo, the Heritage kangaroo logo, the Charles Kingsford Smith name title here, the Qantas billboard title, the front cargo containing loading door as well as the inboard land like you see there. You also see the spirit of Australia uh, scripted there on this side of the aircraft along with the Qantas billboard title. All right now you're looking at these massive uh, Rolls-Royce Trent 972-84 uh, turbofan type engines on this side of the aircraft featuring the, uh, the red kangaroo logo displayed on the uh, engine columns there and there as well as the Rolls Royce uh, logo displayed on the engine cows there as well there and there and you see the engine uh, cones right there realistic detail now you're looking at the wingtip fence wingtip device displayed on this aircraft right here as well as the green navigation light displayed here on the edge of the wing there as well now you're looking at the triple bogey gears as well as the uh, bogey gears on this side of the aircraft as well all right 
All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the Airbus A380 decal right there. The rear cargo containing loading door, the AFT boat bin door, the Australian flag decal, the registration ship number, and then you see the silver roof, uh, cheat line right there, as well as the revised kangaroo logo displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft. Check it out. Awesome. Okay, before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. Check it out. Oh, pretty good. So far, so good. The gears do tilt. And the nose grid swivels there as well. Okay. So, with that said, allow me to show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Let's check it out. Now you're looking at this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front where you see the nose cone. See the pedal tubes right above the nose cone. The windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. And you slide over this way. You see the antenna. You see the uh, Wi-Fi box antenna. The dual uh, anti-collision beacon lights. The ADF antenna in 3D. Another high frequency antenna. Slide up this way. Another high frequency antenna. And then there's the tail right there. And then there's the horizontal stabilizer with the warning information featuring the two little dots that's displayed uh, yeah, right there, as well as right there. You know the sole purpose of that little dot right there is to light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. All right, let's check out the wings. You start the engines first. See the engines right there. See the, uh, the, the uh, kangaroo logo on that side engine is there is there as well and then you're looking at the uh, warning information on the wings including the flap slats aileron spoilers what have you uh, oh fuel dump valve right there including the uh, wingtip fence let's check over here see the engines right there the, uh, the logo on that side that well as well as the flap slats aileron spoilers what have you fill dump valve right there as well as the wingtip fins displayed on this side of the aircraft as well Now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view with this aircraft model. We're gonna start at the front, the nose cone, the closed nose gear door, the open nose gear door, as well as the uh, nose gear right there. Then we slide up this way, an antenna, a couple antennas there. And then you see the Qantas title right there on the uh, middle of the uh, midsection, the underbelly right there. The anti collision beacon light right there. The hole where the stand goes in at. And let's talk about these mill triple bogey gears right here for a second. Tilt. Perfect. 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 Okay. And then you see the uh, Gemini Just logo. A couple of antennas. The uh, Silver Root Cheat Line. As well as the uh, APU housing doors right there and the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the. Uh, the gears right here, a little challenge with that one. Yeah, okay, there we go. Then you see the uh, logos right there, as well as the logos on that side as well. The Rolls Royce logos there as well. And as well as the flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you, fuel dump valve, registration ship number, and the lower part of the wingtip fence. Let's check over this side. gears there they tilt a cut perfect and then the engines right there I showed you earlier as well as the slaps slats aileron spores fuel dump valve as well as the lower part of the uh, wingtip fence on this side of the aircraft all right since I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, now I'm going to put on that huge little metal model stand that actually came with the model. So with no further ado, here is the model on the stand. Check it out.
Okay, got this model on the stand with no problem, no hesitation. I'm gonna let you check out it as it rotates in all directions, starting on the uh, port side of the aircraft. Rear view angle, the tail cam angle. The starboard side of the aircraft. In the front of the aircraft. Okay, before I take this model to stand, I got in this position for a reason, and the reason is that the magnetic gears that came with the model, and they all magnetic. So I'm gonna let you check it out. Start with the nose gear first. There. There. A uh, little challenge with this one. There. There. And there. All right. Now I'm gonna let you see this aircraft model at a different angle. Let's check it out. All right. Now you see it being displayed in uh, in flight mode position. Now you got one or two options how you want to display your mouth from this point on. If you want to display it like that without the gears, that's fine. Remember these gear, gear replacement uh, deals inside this plastic bag I showed you early. That's the sole purpose of these gear replacements. You can display your mouth like this in flight mode position. Or you can do what I suggest to do, just keep them in gear down position. Because I keep mine in gear down position. It adds more value to the mouth. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this mouth review. Take, put the gears on it, put it back on it, and wrap it up, okay? Now let's talk about the seat configuration. Qantas now has two seat and configurated cabin layout berths that they actually use on their Airbus A380s. But however, on this particular Qantas Airbus A380 jumbo jetliner aircraft, it seats 484 passengers in a four-class configurated cabin layout. Here's the breakdown everyone, from rows one to four, which is on the main deck, which will be from here to here. You have 14 first-class open suites, and rows 11 to 22, which is the upper deck, which goes from here to about right here. You have 64 business class flatbed seats. All right, you have rows 24 to 28, which will be from here to about right here. You have 35 premium economy class seats. Rows 32 to 36, which is also the upper deck, which will be from here to about right there. You have uh, 30 economy class seats and rows 48 to 50, 48 to 88, sorry about that, 48 to 88, which is from here to all the way back here. You have an additional 371 economy class seats, which brings the total to 484 seats. And finally, Qantas currently or previously utilizes their Airbus A380s on routes from Sydney, Australia, to Dallas Fort Worth, Los Angeles, California, Singapore, London Heathrow via Singapore, um, and Dubai, and from Melbourne to Los Angeles, California, and Singapore. Okay, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting this model, if you can find it at the time of this video review posting. This model is pretty much sold out. If you can get your hands on it, do so. Your only outside chance is eBay at this point. So with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.